I feel like I'm here with you dolls. I'm kind of nervous. I can't think. Hi dolls, so I'm back. So this is going to be a Snapchat q and I think I have everything set up. I'm going to go grab my charger from my computer really, really quick and then we're going to jump in. I will have your videos showing on the screen for you dolls. I don't know which side yet, but your video will show on the screen. So I hope you dolls are beat and ready for this video. And yeah, let's jump into the question. Yes, I have all of these lots. So Okay, so the first question says, I would send a video, but I look a hot mess, LOL. But my question is, why don't you post vlogs anymore? As you dolls know, I did want videos, but I'm going to answer this because I did just say you need to be beat because you're going to be up here on the screen. But um, yeah, I don't post vlogs anymore just because a lot of the vlogs that I was doing was at home, like when I wasn't really doing anything and I was getting complaints like, oh my god these vlogs are boring or whatever and i'm not always doing anything to be able to vlog i know some of you really enjoy those vlogs where i really wasn't doing much just to be able to see you know just the regular stuff like me going to the store or whatever stuff like that so i am going to try to start doing vlogs more but a lot of times whenever i do go places it's usually not places where i want to carry a camera around or i'm always rushing and stuff so yeah that's the only reason. So yeah, I'm gonna try to start doing vlogs more. Hey Princess Keach, my question for you is what keeps you motivated? What keeps you going? What keeps you motivated? Love you. Oh, thanks doll. So the thing that keeps me motivated is definitely you dolls, all of your inspiring comments that just keep me going and your you dolls are definitely motivational whenever you tell me you love certain types of videos or you really like certain things and videos and things like that that's definitely what keeps me going i try not to let the haters really get to me i know this is kind of cliche because i just talked about that on the last question about why i don't really do vlogs but really the main reason why i don't do vlogs is because I just don't really find the time to do them or it's nothing really going on that's super fun for me to film them all the time but yeah yeah that pretty much covers what keeps me motivated and i have so many videos and so many ideas in my head that i just can't get them out because i do work a full-time job so on the weekends and stuff sometimes i just want to chill like i'm tired from working and stuff all week and sometimes i don't feel like doing the videos that i have planned so yeah you dolls keep me motivated. The next question says, have you considered modeling I, and I love you? So I love you too, doll. And I haven't really thought about it so much. Like I always get told that I should be a model like a lot of people that I meet and stuff. But I know modeling has changed up a lot. And like back in the day, I would say I was way too short to be like a model, you know, like runway type of stuff. But there are so many different types of things now. And there are so many different types of clothing lines and you know like body types and stuff like that and i'm short so that's like one of the main things but i don't know it's just not really a thing that i can really get into in the area that i live in like there's not a lot of opportunities for modeling so that's probably why next question is a question why aren't you dolls sending videos this is so not good so yeah it says what do you see yourself doing five years from now and i really don't know um i do like to plan out a lot of stuff in my life but i don't really just think about it like that like five years ten years from now whatever five years from now i will be a lot older so definitely just want to be accomplished so yeah that's my answer we don't do you respect youtubers that allow reviews to get free products and would you ever become the victim of selling yourself for companies so most definitely not. I don't like for people to just lie on videos if it's something that they don't like to just sell it to you dolls. Um, everything that I review is definitely something that I like or have a need for or something like that. It's not just going to be something that a company contacts me and says, okay, I'll pay you to do this, whatever, and review it. I have to actually try it out, like it, and all of that stuff for me to actually do the video for you dolls. What do you hate the most about YouTube? Um, I don't really know what I hate the most. Like, because I don't really try to think about what other people are doing so much. I try to just focus on doing my videos and getting things done for you dolls myself. So I don't really focus on other stuff that's going on on YouTube. But I know um, there is a lot of YouTube pettiness and cattiness that goes on. But I really don't get into the drama. So... I don't really have a problem with it. 
Hi, Princess Peach. So, what do you think is best to get rid of blemishes? Like, I'm trying to get rid of like this area, this right here. Like, what do you use, or what do you think? Okay, so she wants to know what to use to get rid of blemishes. I'm not quite sure if it's like acne scarring or if it's just like breakouts and things. I couldn't really tell very much by the video, but if it is something like where you're getting a pimple or something, I will tell you what I use. I like to put alcohol on the area because it does help to dry it out because underneath, whenever you have a pimple or something, it's like pus or whatever it is that's on the inside of it. So you want to dry it up. So I put alcohol on it to dry it up. And then I also do like to use this um on my breakouts and this is sulfur ointment and it's by Dela cruz i purchased this from fiesta one time whenever i was like traveling and i've had it for a while but this is how it looks it is yellow i don't know if you can see it my light's really bright but this works really good and this is a acne medication so definitely just check out your grocery stores and things like that it is like a spanish type of product um, so definitely check on those type of aisles for something like this. This works really good. So do like mask on your skin and things like that to help with blemishes as well. I like Clinique uh, mask and then I know a lot of people love the Glam Glow ones as well and I have a few of those also. Hi Cooch. I just wanted to know is Wonderland finished and how come you haven't showed it yet? Okay, I don't know what she said. She said she wants to know why something isn't finished, why I haven't showed it yet. I'm pretty sure it's probably about my beauty room or something like that. If I'm wrong, then I'm sorry, doll. But I will be doing my tours and things like that of Wonderland and all that really soon. I'm actually thinking about doing that this week or maybe sometime this weekend. So stay tuned for that. Is from a guy and he wants to know, will you date me? Next question. Cooch, can you please tell beginners like myself what makeup to start out with like foundation lips eyes so as far as foundations as you dolls know or most of you may know that i just started getting into liquid foundations i only used to use powder foundations so it really depends on what you want like what you want to start off with but you can definitely start off with drugstore items and mac is also a really good brand and they have so many colors and things like that so definitely check them out that's kind of a hard question because i don't know your skin type or anything like that so it's kind of hard to recommend as far as like foundations and things like that as far as lip products i definitely can say that mac is my favorite brand of lipsticks but they do have cheaper options like um, Wet n Wild has really great pigmented lipsticks. So I would definitely check those out for beginners. As far as like lip liners, NYX makes some really great ones. And then I know a lot of people like Giordana. And then Gloss, of course, I love MAC. I love Buxom. And there are just so many different things. So definitely start off in the drugstore because that's easy to access. But there's also great Things that you can find online that are not expensive, such as Coastal Scents, BH Cosmetics, City Color, you know, all those different types of brands that you can also pick up that won't break the bank. And also for eyeshadow palettes, I really love my Morphe palette. I have one palette from them and it's so pigmented and so wonderful. I love it. But yeah, check out some of that stuff. Hi, Cooch. I love you. Um, do you have any advice or tips? for schooling and things like that to get into the profession that you're in or any of that. Okay, so she wants to know about getting into my profession. I actually had someone write me about that earlier who was in high school. So basically what I do is medical transcription. I do auditing and records and things like that. And I do work in a doctor's office. Um, I was trained at my job, but they do offer courses at some colleges and things like that. I don't think that the classes are really long. Um, to take the course, you have to just check at the college or whatever in your area to see if they offer those type of classes. And a lot, um, a lot of people go for billing and coding and things like that, which we also do at my job. If you want to do something like that, definitely check around and in your area if they are requiring for you to go to school for it or whatever, then definitely go ahead and do that. But if you find a place that is willing to train you, then that's a great option as well because you don't have to take up the time for schooling. And training at my job, I went through training for like a week or whatever, and then I had it pretty much. So yeah, and I've been doing this for five years now. So yeah. I really want to know what are your thoughts on being a born again version? Like what would be your advice to someone who wants to wait till marriage to have sex again?
Wow, this is a hard question because for me, I just know that's probably never going to happen in my life. Like, I know that's the right thing that we should be doing, but I don't think I can do that. Like, I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying, if I'm giving a bad um, example for you dolls right now, but it's for me. As of right now, where I see myself in life, I won't be trying that out. But my advice to someone who wants to do that would be just to abstain from sex. And don't get into compromising situations where you're going to want to do it, basically. Um, I think you can still date, but the person who you date will definitely need to be on that same page with you where they're not going to try to push you into that situation if that's not something that you want to do or even, you know get those type of feelings to where you want to do it so yeah you just have to abstain from it and be with someone who's gonna be on the same page with you hey girl watching your video right now i just love your whole Oh my god i love your accent you're from trinidad that is so cute and thank you doll for watching my videos how long is the longest relationship that you've ever been in so how long is the longest relationship that I've ever been in? A steady relationship, like with no breakup? Probably two years or three years or so. Because there's always issues and we break up. But as far as like a long-term relationship throughout, I've probably dated someone off and on for the longest time, which would be about eight years. So yeah, I guess you could call that. But I mean... Throughout the whole time, if you're dating for that long, usually people do break up off and on or whatever because you're just going through things and growing up. But yeah, probably the longest amount of time would be like eight years off and on. Hey, Cooch. My question is, have you ever dated outside of your race? So yeah, another dating question. Have I ever dated outside of my race? I think I told you guys this once before, but it was probably a long time ago and that video probably was deleted. But I have dated outside of my race and... It was when I was in high school and the guy's actually Indian. I actually think I talked about this in a video not that long ago, but yeah, the guy is Indian that I dated, but he thought he was pretty much black. So, and he hung out with all black guys, but his dad and his mom were both Indian. So yeah. Coach, I just wanted to know what are some tips on budgeting money and keeping money in the bank and what do you consider broke? Questions about budgeting. Basically, like I always try to tell you dolls in my hauls because a lot of you ask questions like how I'm able to purchase things like that or whenever I buy an expensive bag or whatever. Basically, all I do is set aside a certain amount of money. Like you want to have your money to pay your bills every month, um, you know, like your rent, your utilities and groceries, you know, like all the regular stuff that you need to pay month to month but then you also do want to have some extra money on the side that you can have for having fun with like going to the movies going shopping or whatever and if you know that there's something that you definitely want to buy that's a bigger purchase like a bag or you want to get some makeup or whatever then just set aside a certain amount of money from each paycheck and then that way you'll have that money to spare i don't know what i would really consider broke maybe broke would be like you really don't have any money to spare at all like you have no money at all in the bank like you really need to get something to eat and you don't have any money at all like that's probably the lowest of the lowest broke but yeah i think day-to-day -day living you should know how much you have in your accounts and that way you're not overspending or anything like that also what is your biggest tip on getting more subscribers and what is your motivation for making more videos? So what is my tip for getting more subscribers? I really don't have the answer to that question. Like so many of you dogs write me and ask me how to grow a fan base on YouTube or how to get more subscribers. And honestly, my pickup is going very, very slow. So I really can't tell you how to do that. But the only thing you can do is make videos that you like to make and things that relate to you that you like to do because you don't wanna just make videos about stuff that you're not even interested in. Me coming on here showing you how to play Call of Duty or something like that. Like I don't really get into 
video games. I play games on my phone, but that's about it. You wanna just do things that you love to do and that'll reflect on camera. Your subscribers will know that you know what you're talking about and that you're actually interested in what it is that you're talking about. Keeps me motivated. I answered that question already, so definitely you dolls keep me motivated with your positive comments and it definitely motivates me also whenever I see my videos have a nice amount of views and likes and things like that. That definitely keeps me going because if I work on a video, you know, it does take a lot of time whenever you have to film, edit, and all that, get the video posted. That also takes time. So whenever you see, you know, great feedback in the comments, you see likes and you see a lot of people watching the video, it definitely is motivation to keep going. But if you do a video and you don't get that many likes or you get a lot of dislikes or negative comments, that's kind of like... I just spent all this time on this video and you know I have all this backlash so yeah that's what keeps have you ever been with a woman no I have not I am all about the eggplants <laughs> I don't know how I just wanted to say that but yeah I don't do girls that's not my thing I definitely do have my girl crushes though like Riri I just love Riri to death and it's probably not even really so much of a girl crush I just love Riri in general so yeah, I don't think, it's not really a girl crush so much if you wouldn't take it there with them, is it? Or is it just like you like to look at the person? I don't know, you dolls tell me. But yeah, I love me some Riri. Hey Coach, I'm not showing my face because I look ugly, but I wanted to know, do you work out? Like your body is amazing. I love your videos, by the way. Bye. Thanks, doll. So yeah, um, I have not been working out in... A long time now actually um, for a while I had started back doing a little bit of working out and I had found like some great channels on YouTube and I would just kind of work out with the videos I can't think of the name of the channel but I'll try to put it down below for you dolls if you want to check it out but it's like a women's type of channel and they show you how to do lots of exercises for like your legs your abs your butt all that stuff like targeting different areas it's really good workouts but I just haven't been doing it lately um, and I used to have a trainer for maybe about a half a year or a year um and i used to really like going to him but he is very expensive and i just i just haven't been working out um i think i am maintaining really well um as far as like cutting back sometimes i'll try to diet a little bit and not eat as much but yeah i haven't been working out i'm sorry to tell you dolls i don't have a regimen that i can give to you dolls but yeah at Thanks work can do a video so i want to know what is your favorite lip combo so i did post a lip combo tonight on snapchat which is the lip combo that i'm wearing right now i'll tell you guys in this video i'm sure all of you have seen it because you're sending me your questions on snapchat but for anyone who's watching this video and you didn't put in on the questions i'll just tell you in case you want to know i'm wearing max max i'm wearing nick's toast lip liner which is a brown lip liner and then I'm wearing Max Blankety Lipstick, which is a new lipstick that I purchased while I was in Cali. It's a really nice pinky new color. And then the gloss that I have on top is Max Ample Pink, and it's a pink gloss. So that's what I have on right now. My favorite lip combo for daily wear is Max Cream Cup Lipstick and Ample Pink Gloss. I don't have the lipstick right here. It's in my purse or else I would show you, but it's just a nice pinky nude color but it's a little bit more pink that's probably my favorite combo right now and then i also really do love the marc jacobs glosses i love the one in flamingo and then there's another one i think it's called pretty something i can't think of the name of it but it's like a nude color and yeah that's that's my favorite lip combo right now cream cup and ample pink i'm such a chatty patty right now your dog's making me nervous. Like, I don't know why. I don't know where I got my vanity mirror from. My vanity mirror is from Vanity Girl Hollywood. And I think that one is called the Broadway. It does have an outlet on it where you can plug in two things. And then it also does have a dimmer on it. I'll show you. So, yeah, you can make it dim or you can light it up more. And yeah, that's where I got mine from. I've had it for a while, but I have been seeing a new brand of vanity mirrors that's called Impressions Vanity. I'm not sure if you get the one that's like mine's, if theirs is cheaper or higher. I don't know. I didn't compare the prices, but I just kind of looked on that website because they have one that is even bigger. Like it would cover 
my whole desk and I really like that but I don't really have room with all my other stuff so yeah that's where my vanity mirror is from will you be at beautycon dallas I have got a few questions about going to beautycon dallas and I don't think I'm gonna go because last year when I went to beautycon dallas I did have fun just being in the area and going shopping with Nikki and everything but as far as the events, it really wasn't well organized and everything. And it was just kind of like a big storage building or whatever with people walking around following different YouTubers and stuff. Like they didn't really have a lot of vendors there or anything entertaining to do other than meet people and stuff. So I don't know. I know it's coming up in March. So as of right now, no, I won't be going. Sorry, y'all. Yes. How long was your longest relationship and what is your favorite? What is your favorite to shop and order online? So I talked about my longest relationship. It was probably about eight years on and off. And then my favorite shop online, um, Max, Sephora. I love Fashion Nova's clothes. Um, what else? Forever 21. I don't really order a lot of clothes online that often other than like, you know, I work with certain companies and stuff, the videos that I do for you dolls, but I don't really order a lot of clothes online. I'm really more into ordering makeup because clothes can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Like sometimes you do want to try things on to make sure that it's going to fit or whatever. Um, and then not also just the fit. Some things look cute, but they don't look cute when you put it on. So I don't know I just find makeup you can't really go wrong with ordering makeup online so that's why I shop so much for makeup online versus clothing but probably Forever 21 and Fashion Nova are probably like two of my faves and then H&M also but I've never ordered online I've just shopped in the store so yeah hi oh my gosh I love you Thank so you beautiful gosh. um my question is what advice would you give to someone who wants to do YouTube for the first so, time? So yeah, thank you for the compliments, doll. As far as doing YouTube for the first time, every time someone asks me this, I definitely always say just jump into it and do it. You just want to have a good camera, you know, with pretty good quality, something that puts out HD quality, and you want to have some pretty good lighting. You can use regular lights and just get the uh, daylight bulb so that you can have nice bright setting or you can also use um regular daylight from outside or whatever but basically just jump into it and of course you need a computer to edit on i've even seen some people edit videos on their phone and stuff like that so you just want to jump into it don't be afraid don't be shy to do it because your first video you know like everyone isn't going to know that you're posting yet so you can critique yourself you can show your friends your family or whatever and if you feel like you need to make some improvements, of course you can always take the video down and put up something else. You can always delete your videos. So yeah. Hi doll, I'm so in love with you, but my question is, when are you gonna do a apartment tour? Like, we've been waiting, I'm thirsty, love you. Thanks doll, love you too. Um, as far as an apartment tour, I don't think I'm gonna do a full apartment tour. Um, just because I, feel like some people will probably try to figure out like where I live at and then I'll have to deal with stalkers and all that type of stuff. I know a lot of you dolls do just want to get like decoration ideas for decor and decorating your homes and things like that. Um, on my blog channel before I did kind of go into showing some of the areas like I showed my closet in my bedroom before and I've also showed my bathroom um, like a tour so I may I may start doing kind of like room by room, but not really a full house tour. But I know for sure that I'm going to do a tour on my beauty room. That's going to be really soon. I'm so sorry. I keep putting it off. I just feel like it's going to be a lot of work and editing. But yeah, I may do like a bathroom tour or like, would you dolls like to see something like what I keep in my shower? I've seen videos like that. And that could kind of tie into like a hygiene video instead of just sitting down talking about it. Um, I think it would be less weird that way. Um, so yeah, let me know down below. Ample Pink is the truth. One of my first plush glass. So yes, I love Ample Pink. And I can't believe I just tried this. And I bought this probably a few months ago. Did I go to the store and buy this? Or did I order it online? I can't even remember. But it's actually already down to here. So this is definitely my fave this is definitely one of my faves i don't think i went down on a lip gloss this fast 
in a long time. And you guys know I have a lot of lip products because lip products are my fave. Hey, Cooch. So my question to you is the daily tear-offs that you have that have scriptures and little sayings on them, where did you get that from? That's really nice. Okay, so a lot of you dolls ask me this every day, like when I'm at work, because that's where I keep my little calendar. It does give you daily scriptures and motivation and things like that. That book actually came from the Christian bookstore and my aunt bought it for me. So yeah. Okay, so next questions are what made you want to start making beauty videos? I'll just break this up. So as far as making beauty videos, um, I would always get compliments while I'm out. People would always tell me they like my makeup, which I think I've came a long way from where I started at way back then when people really liked it. But um, I would just always get compliments. And then one day I was online just browsing on YouTube and I would always only watch YouTube like to check out music videos and things like that. I didn't even know that there were videos on here for like how to so like how to do so many different things and especially a makeup community whenever i found the makeup community i was completely addicted and obsessed with it and at that time i wasn't working at all like i had stopped working so i would stay up like i would watch youtube videos all day and all night i would stay up until like three four in the morning just watching youtube videos and i would be up from the daytime like all day just watching videos i was so addicted that was the good old days i love that so yeah the next question is what happened to your vlogs i kind of already covered that but my vlogs you know my channel got deleted all the videos got deleted but yeah i just haven't been filming any but i know you guys want to see vlogs i get that request so much so whenever i start filming vlogs again you guys better be watching have you always known how to do hair Yes, I have. I've always known how to do hair because I grew up in the shop. I have an aunt that's a beautician as well as an uncle, which a lot of you probably know that. Um, so yeah, I was a shop baby. I would always be at the shop with them. So it kind of just came natural to me from being around them and watching them do hair all the time. Um, and whenever I was in school, I would do my friend's hair and things like that, like flat iron it, curl it. You know style it i would even do relaxers on one of my friends and everything so i've always been into doing hair and my mom and my dad would always complain like this house is not a shop you know they hated that because i would be doing everyone's hair but yeah i've always known how to do hair okay and we're getting down to the last few questions looks like my little cousin sent one in who is, who is your favorite person in the world let them know it's me nigga but i'm living for this what b <laughs> she is such a clown i'm sure you dolls have probably seen us on my snapchat and things like that yes that is my favorite little cousin i love you so much can't wait to see you this weekend when you come home boo i love her to death that's my only little cousin that's a girl actually so yeah we have all boys it's just me and her we're the only girls and our moms are actually sisters so um, a lot of you have said before, like on my Instagram and stuff, that we have the same smile and we look alike. Our moms look like twins, but yeah. Hey, Cooch, wanted to know why you don't do vlogs anymore. I miss them and I love you. Thanks, doll. That's so sweet. I love you dolls too. You just, you dolls are really touching my heart. I want to cry, but yeah, you dolls are really asking for these vlogs. So I'm telling you, whenever I start doing these vlogs again, you dolls better be watching them. Like I need to have like... So many views on a vlog, but I need to do a good one. I don't know. I'm trying to think when can I vlog that would be really appropriate. Hmm. And what's your favorite makeup product at the moment? My favorite makeup product at the moment. That is so hard because as you guys know, I have a lot of stuff. And I'm always testing out all the new stuff that I buy, but... I can tell you one of my favorite things right now is this concealer and this is the LA Girl Pro Conceal and I have all of these like all the different colors but I just never got into them and I didn't care for them so much because I wasn't using the right color. My skin has a yellow undertone so this one is my favorite to use under my eyes to brighten up and do my um, highlight. This one is called Creamy Beige. This is the color I use and I also have been using this to clean up my brows underneath and I love it for that and I've also been using it as a base for my eyeshadow so this is a great concealer and they're super super cheap 
and I've used this quite a bit like I love this and I already have a backup and I'm gonna get some more backups so this is probably one of my favorite products right now I think this is the last question unless I get another one in really quick which I doubt is getting late so let's see all I want to know is why do you be slaying these holes like this <laughs> I'm so dead dog why didn't you show your face but oh my god I try not to just I try not to kill them but you know it just happens sometimes now nah, let me stop playing but yeah um I don't slay all the time whenever I go to work I like to look real normal sometimes and some days whenever I know I'm gonna film I will do my makeup slightly and then I'll come home and amp it up for the videos or whatever but yeah I love to slay so yeah, that's it for the question and answers video. I'm going to make a quick video on Snap so I can have you dolls to stop sending in your questions. And until next time, we will do another question and answers really soon for you dolls. This was super fun. I don't want it to end. I really feel like I just met you dolls, especially the ones who sent in videos. Like I feel like you're here with me. Like I even felt a little bit nervous and everything. So yeah. I hope you dolls like this Q&A and if you want to be included in the next one to ask me your questions, be sure to go and follow me on Snapchat. Would you dolls also like to do it on Twitter and Instagram? Let me know and I'll have my links down below. Bye dolls!